Hi friends, it is Jessica from I Read to Relax on Instagram and from here, I Read to Relax on Booktube. I'm here today to share um, my favorite six books from the beginning of the year. I decided this year to keep track of my top book of what I read each month. And so I thought today I would share my favorite books from January through June with you. My favorite book that I read in the month of January was actually Crush by um, Tracy Wolf. This is book two in the Crave series. And um, this is an amazing, just super cheesy fun ride kind of series. So if you want really serious thoughtful books, this is not the series for you. As you can see, the covers are kind of nods to the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. Um, they have that same feel to them and that's because this is a series that not only feels a lot like the Twilight series but it also like full on gives shout out to Twilight at different points in the series. So Tracy Wolf really does sort of tongue in cheek like I know what type of series this is writing style. Um, so if you enjoy academy settings in books, this takes place at the Katmere Academy in Alaska, so very isolated. And the reason that it's isolated is because Grace, our main character, ends up at Katmere Academy and finds out that she might be the only human at Katmere Academy. So there are in this series a variety of paranormals. There are vampires, there are werewolves, there are dragons, there are all types of different creatures. There's witches. I loved Crave, which is the first book, and then I loved this one even more. So um, if you're looking for just a fun little something paranormal to get into. I couldn't put them down and they read super quickly and they're super fun. So that was January. And then my favorite book in February is the first book in the um, Queens of Renthea series by Sarah Beth Durst. So this is The Queen of Blood and um, this is a much more serious um, said Delena finds out that she has magic when she's able to hold off um, the earth spirits that end up destroying basically her entire village. Her family is the only family that survives an attack and it's because of her. So she gets sent to the um, magic academy in her kingdom and she's going to learn from the other women how to fight these elemental spirits. And it's a great story of friendship, magic. It is supremely well written and uh, I can't recommend it enough. I haven't had a chance yet to read the other books in the series, but I'm really excited for them because this one was amazing. So that was February. Um, my favorite book of March was Wolf Girl by Leia Stone, and this is the first book in the Wolf Girl series. It's a four book series. This is a shifter series, so it's about werewolves, and um, her shifting nature was bound so that she couldn't turn into a wolf, um, but she... Uh, it's part of her nature and she ends up fighting against it and it becomes a problem and she gets in trouble a lot and then um, she gets discovered by the visiting Alpha's son from Shifter City and he's interested enough in her that he has her brought to the city and it is the year that he has to choose his mate so she becomes part of this pool of women who might be chosen and um it's very much kind of got that 
bachelor vibe to it in some ways like what I really really liked about it is that the main character is a really amazing character and like she thinks it's ridiculous um but she also likes him and so it becomes you know one of those do I really have to put up with this just to date you kind of things um and just another super fun super great read great start to a series so if you like werewolf books um I really liked that one um if you don't like werewolf books not the series for you <laughs> okay so then in April I read Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifwenko and this is a special edition cover so I'll put the regular cover here in case you want to look for it at the library or the bookstore um, but I adored this book and I listened to it as an audiobook and the audiobook was amazing too. And it's about a girl who, um, has been raised by her mother specifically for the purpose of essentially becoming an assassin to kill the crown prince in their kingdom. <laughs> At a certain age, they bring in all of these different kids who are to be considered to join his council when he has reached a certain age. And his council will continue with him as he becomes king. And her mother, Teresai's mother, is adamant that she has to get on to this council because that is the only way she'll get close enough to murder the crown prince. So um, this one has uh, mental telepathy links. It has um, some really cool types of magic. Um, and it's just, again, a very interesting world. Um, like I said, I really loved this one. In May, um, I read by Nalini Singh. Um, it is called Last Guard. I'm going to put the cover here. And I did this one as an audiobook because they are fantastic audiobooks. What I love about this series and the first book in this particular series is one of my favorite books of all time, uh, Silver Silence. So I'll put the cover here. Um, but what I love about the series is that, again, they have shifters in them. Um, and, and I love shifter books, but they also have, um, people that they call the Psy and they are humans that have, um, psychic abilities of different types. And then there are regular humans. So that's what the title means, Psy Changeling Trinity. So it's the Psy, the changelings who are the shifters and the humans make up this trinity and um, in this world that Nalini Singh has created, um, the Psy, the Changelings, and the humans um, are constantly trying both to keep their own cultures separate and also to find just enough harmony that they can all coexist. So the Psy... They definitely think of themselves as being superior and they believe that the changelings are more animal than human and so they sort of write them off as well. The changelings don't understand the Psy at all because changelings are humans with animal in them and so they're very much animalistic in the way that they interact. They have packs, they um, revel in touching each other and the Psy are very, it's, it's all mental. They don't touch, they don't talk out loud a lot. They talk to each other telepathically. Um, so the changelings don't understand them and then they think of the humans as weak because they don't have the abilities that the shifters do. And then the humans resent everybody else primarily because they have no power. So like I said, it's this very difficult balance that's sort of being attempted to be kept. And um, each of the books in the series can be read totally on their own. 
So in Last Guard, um, it this one happens to feature two um, Psy, who both had super traumatizing childhoods that had met each other as children and one had literally saved the life of the other and neither one ever forgot the other even though they had no contact after that incident and so now as adults they meet and that connection instantly flares up again because they literally only felt like they could depend on each other. This particular series, The Psy Changeling Trinity, is a spin-off of her original Psy Changeling series. And um, these books, this new series, have just been absolutely incredible. I've loved every single one. And like I said, Silver Silence is one of my favorite books ever now. Last book that I wanted to highlight from the first half of the year, my favorite book in June was The Saltwater Air by Cassidy Clark. And I'm going to put the cover here. This one I read as an ebook, but um, I absolutely loved this one. Um, her debut novel, and I thought it was amazing. Um, she writes about this um, kingdom or two kingdoms. It's it's a world where there are two kingdoms and they are at war. There was this incident where um, the the family in one kingdom thought that their daughter was murdered by the other kingdom. There, that was the precipitating incident that made them officially and aggressively at war. So the main character in the book um, has grown up as one of the adopted princesses in Kingdom A. Their kingdom raises their princesses to be warriors. So she is fighting in a battle and uh, things go wrong and she comes face to face with one of the princes of Kingdom B. Well, the prince recognizes his sister, his dead sister. And so he then kidnaps the princess to bring her back to his kingdom to reintroduce her to the family and the kingdom because she's alive. Now, <laughs> the princess... <laughs> that it is a trick and that they are trying to steal her from her own kingdom. So she is like horrified to be there, resentful, trying to figure out how to kill them and escape. So what's amazing about this book, I mean, aside from just it, it's a great plot, um, aside from that is the family dynamics in the kingdom that had lost their princess. The sibling relationships are amazing. The, and, and this book had such an amazing pace to it. Like, you went from an emotional scene to an action scene, to an emotional scene, to an action scene, to an emotional scene, to an action scene. I laughed, I cried, I laughed again. Uh, the snark, like the sarcasm between some of the characters was just amazing. And everybody's got their own very specific, very well-defined personalities. Like, I was literally blown away that this was a debut book. Um, Cassidy Clark did such an amazing job on it, and I, I really loved this book, and I really hope that more people read it at some May be my number one book for the whole year. Um, it's only October, so I don't know yet, but it's it's a strong, strong contender for number one of 2021. So those are the six books that I really, really loved in the first half of the year. And like I said, I will be back with a video of my six favorite books from the second half of the year, um, probably right at the beginning of January, because I have to wait and see what I read in October, November, and December. So, all right. 
Let me know if you've read any of these or if you now plan to read any of these or if you have any recommendations of books like these because I'm always on the lookout for things to add to my list. So I hope you have a great rest of the day. I hope you have some amazing book that you're reading right now and uh, I will see you again soon.